us who are interested in a diversity uh, really want to focus in on these network of interactions among the, the species that occur together. While this desert is by no means lifeless, there are relatively fewer kinds of organisms and the structure of the environment is more open. And that enables us to come in and perform these relatively simple manipulative experiments. Jim Brown is on the cutting edge of biodiversity exploration. Nearly two decades ago, he began to cut strands from life's web to see what would happen. By using fences, he isolated several half-acre plots. Jim, we got one here. Over the years, he trapped and removed three species. Good. One, one, C, D. And let's pull around and see one, one C, D. These guys can kick like the devil. Brown removes kangaroo yeah, yeah. rats. Yeah, it's a beautiful animal. And as he does, he's changing this environment. In the hind foot. We removed these kangaroo rats, and but the most interesting thing that happened was the responses of the vegetation. And the most dramatic of all of those is that in these plots where we've removed kangaroo rats, the desert has almost literally become a grassland over the last 17 years. And you can see these really striking differences in the vegetation cover here. When Brown began his experiment, he had no idea what would happen. Kangaroo rats, it turns out, are a dominant member of this community. Biologists call organisms like these keystone species. When a keystone is removed, changes take place. It's believed that kangaroo rats act as a keystone in a very simple way. When they are present, they kick up the soil and prevent grass from growing. Without them, grasses flourish. As grass cover grows thick, new species move in, and other species move out. A number of rodent species that are completely characteristic of grassland have showed up and uh, maintained populations on these grassy plots. Uh, another effect is that the uh, birds, uh, particularly the wintering flocks of sparrows that come in, actually use these grassy plots less because the dense grass interferes with uh, their uh, movement and apparently with their ability to see seeds. The species that are really important, these keystone species, can be almost any kind of organism. Uh, they can be things like rats, uh, insects, uh, nitrogen-fixing bacteria attached to the roots of plants. Uh, they don't have to be the kinds of spectacular organisms that we might go to these habitats and try to see. The more we learn about the web of life, the more we're realizing that it's often the unassuming creatures that play the largest roles.